Okay, welcome everyone. <clears throat> welcome to the trade findings and adjustments for Thursday, the 30th of November. I believe we will have two more trade findings and adjustments on the uh, the 7th and the 14th of December. And then we will be done for uh, for the year. So good to have you guys with me. Looks like there are 12 of us. I'm going to start off today. Tell me about today. If you're looking to do a trade, tell me what you know about today. Today being November 30th, 2023. There you go. Great first answer right off the board. Last day of the month which equals rebalancing of funds. Excellent. You are 100% correct. What else can you tell me? What else could you tell me about today? Running into index overbought resistance. Is that easier to say? I don't even know where to say. <laughs> Perfect. Let's just go into that one. Running into index overbought resistance, which goes with the other comment. Um, have a four-week winning streak in, in the market, which is also true. And so, yes. Several bell weather stocks also over bought. I love it. Anything else? So when I came to my thought process, my thought process was this. We have technical and historical uncertainty, right? What do I mean by that? Technically overbought and should head bearish. We have a December 13th. FOMC meeting, which the last couple times we've had a drop and then a bigger bounce higher, right? So that's uncertainty. We have a Christmas rally, which seasonal, we probably already have had that. I mean, if you look at a chart, right? If we're to bring up a chart, we're going to bring up a chart looking at, uh, let's look at the S500. I mean, your Christmas rally, in all honesty, your Christmas rally was most likely the 10% from 4301 to where it like we're building a base, except for the fact that we're coming off of overbought. Last time we were overbought, dropped 120 points or 3%. Last time we were overbought, we dropped, uh, what, 250 points? 200, yeah, 250. So expectations have to be tempered. We could also say, technically speaking, and you've heard this before, but you could also say, technically speaking, we have run too far too fast because the S&P 500 is more than one standard, can't spell standard deviation 
from the 50 day simple 50 day simple moving average so those are just thoughts to keep in mind so if you're putting on a trade right all this uncertainty I'm going to go ahead and say trades should be non-directional. What are non-directional trades? Strangle, I can't spell. Straddles. Collar. Protective puts. Poor man's collar, calendars, playing a short-term direction and then a longer-term bullish run. You should be looking at non-directional trades. Where are you going to make money if it goes up or down? And that's kind of where you're, you're sitting in your position to go, that's what I should be doing. That's where I need to go. And I, I think you would be smart to give yourself those kind of opportunities. So some of you mentioned, and I'm going to just say some of you mentioned that you can't spell, that T doesn't work, that you want to do more spread trading uh, primarily early investments with the good graces of the SEC collar trades but that doesn't mean you can't follow the option part of our strategy. And so a couple of those things that we've done recently, right? We added January monthly long puts to Disney out of the money at $90. Meta at, uh, I think we did 330s, right? Baidu, 118s. I think we did 118s. Let's take a quick check. We should go through some of the stuff that we've done. We've got quite a few put pro protection positions that are in place. And we're looking to, to have these put positions basically, uh, basically running them through the December 13th rate hike meeting. With that said, planning to add 190 Apple puts. Um, oh, as I'm thinking through here, I don't think we're going to add puts on Boeing. Baidu, we already have puts on. Uh, Bank of America, I think we have Bank of America already in place, actually. Bank of America, $29 puts in place. Disney, we have Ford. We're not looking at it. General Motors. Uh, Google. Planning to probably add 130 Google L puts on here in the near future. Meta has puts on. Micron has puts on. Square. Uh, we're not sure about Square. Uh, probably looking at Under Armour. 
eight dollar puts. So we do have some things that we're planning on that if you wanted to, our thought process is we want to be a little extra protected. Just going into a four week bullish run in the stock market where you could add bear puts or any of these directional puts for trades on your own. We might double up on Meta. We see Meta break 320. Yeah, actually, it'll probably be 315. If we see Meta break 315, we're going to add a second round of puts on Meta. So that's just a thought process that we have in place and where we're going to go with that. And again, it's just bouncing off of overbought. But it doesn't look like it holds the 50-day very well. So just some things to, to keep in mind. Because we've had such a run on the S&P 500, our expectation is we're looking to play things a little bit bearish going into the end of the uh, year. At least seeing things come back down to the 4355, 53 level, just to touch and test the, the 50 day. Because that's typically how that's typically how the stock market works. It runs in that regard and off we go. Um so positions you'd want to be on, little extra protection, little extra protection. Could definitely help you out. Don't forget, IWM, Russell 2000, first quarter historical pop. Historically, the IWM, the first quarter, has a pretty nice pop to it. Great opportunity for uh, you guys to play an index that moves nicely over uh, a certain period of time. If we're to bring out big charts again, bought out by market watch. That's interesting. IWM, basic chart. You'll see this year. A nice run from 170 up to 200. If we pull this chart out a little bit farther, let's look at the last five years. Little run last year, 22, it had a run down. 21, you had a run up. 20, you had a run down. 19, you had a run up. So I guess the question is, it looks like it's every other year here most recently. If you can weather the storm down using puts, you could have a nice run back up higher. But don't forget, there is a historical IWM bounce. So that could also be, if you're looking for a bullish trade, then that's where you go to. So just something to talk about. And uh, we can go from there. Any questions you guys have? Any questions you guys have that I can help you out with? If you're going to trade non-directional, where things can go up higher for a little bit, you got to follow the those charts. And... Uh, Again, jumping on the bandwagon, if we're starting to protect, you could do the same thing. With that said, have a great day. Look forward to seeing you on Monday. I don't see any questions coming in, so guys, take care. I will talk with you on Monday. Bye-bye.